Hey everybody, I want to go through subtracting mixed numbers. I want to go through it two different ways, and one way that could be an overall general method or general strategy to use. Okay, let's jump right in. Okay, you take a look and you have 3 and 1 sixth minus 2 and 3 quarters. Now, if you were to keep those as mixed numbers and subtract them, then we could look at that as almost like doing two different operations, or the same operation, but twice. We could look at it as calculating your 3 minus your 2, deal with your whole numbers, and then what we have to do is put together, and so I'm going to put in a little add here, then we need to put together the 1 sixth subtract the 3 quarters. So you'll notice that I'm actually putting everything together just in its bits. The 3 and the 1 sixth with the 2 and the 3 quarters, I'm going to subtract my whole numbers, subtract my, mix, or my fractions. Now, 3 minus 2, nice and easy. But when I go through to calculate, and I now have to deal with my 1 sixth minus my 3 quarters, I hope we see that we're going to get a negative amount. I'm subtracting off more than what I have. So if we were to go through and deal with a common denominator, I hope just through multiples we can come to using f uh, 12 as our lowest common denominator. If we struggle to see it, that's a 3 and a 2, and that's a 2 and a 2. So our denominator needs to have a 3, a 2, and another 2. So if I was going to change my 6th into 12ths, then that's 2 12ths. If I'm going to change my 3 quarters into 12ths, then that's 9 12ths. And so when you put together the gold, you end up with this 1 plus a negative 7 12ths. And so really what you have then is you have your 1 but then we got to take away 7 twelfths. And so if I took my 1, which would be 12 twelfths, and I subtracted off my 7 twelfths, then that's going to get me my 5 twelfths. Okay, you take a look at that method, and I'm like, that's not too bad. The fact that our fractions led to a negative fraction meant maybe we had a little bit extra to consider. But that's not too bad in terms of solution. I would argue to you, though, I think that there is something that is easier. If you are looking for just an overall strategy, okay, how can I just deal with mixed numbers? That's going to be easy. Doesn't always mean fastest. Doesn't always mean most efficient. But something that can be repeated. Then my suggestion to you would be go through with the green solution. That is... Go ahead and take that first fraction of 3 and 1 sixth and change it into an improper fraction. My 6 times my 3 is 18. Add on one more. There's me converting that mixed number into an improper fraction. I never really liked the term improper fraction. It makes it sound like it's not proper, like it's not acceptable when it's very acceptable. If I do that, then I'll notice that I don't have to work with what I had to in the gold. The whole numbers and then the fractions. I can just tackle that as saying, okay, well, there's my common denominator of 12. Double my 19. Multiply my 11 by 3. And now subtract my numerator, subtract my pieces, my number of bits. And there we go. So if you are looking for something that can be universal, then my suggestion would be the green. Depending on the numbers, then maybe keeping them as mixed numbers is quicker. But if you do happen to get into instances where your fraction components end up giving you a negative, it might be some extra stuff you got to consider that you don't want to. Okay, I'm hoping that you can see that as two different ways through a fraction operation. I hope that helps. Best of luck.